Welcome to Scale Model Workshop. This video is a quick explanation of how to read the scales on a micrometer. Micrometers are manufactured with several scales that can return different degrees of precision. In imperial units, it's either thousandths or ten thousandths of an inch. In metric units, it's either hundredths or thousandths of a millimeter. As an ancient American, I work in imperial units, and that'll be the focus of this video, but I'll make an attempt to present the metric side as well. The most common micrometer size used for modeling would no doubt be the 1 inch or 25 millimeter micrometer, marked to read in thousandths of an inch or hundredths of a millimeter. These types of micrometers are marked with only two scales, the sleeve scale and the thimble scale. In imperial measurements, the sleeve scale is marked in increments of 25 thousandths of an inch, and it's numbered every tenth of an inch. The thimble scale is marked and numbered in thousandths of an inch. Every rotation of the thimble moves the thimble 25 thousandths of an inch. So to read the micrometer, you simply add the value from the thimble to the value on the sleeve. In this case, you take 175 thousandths off the sleeve and add what looks to be about something between 13 and 14 thousandths off the thimble. And you get a value about halfway between 0.88 and 0.89 inches. The process is exactly the same with a metric micrometer. The spindle scale is marked for every half millimeter and numbered every five millimeters. The thimble is marked in one hundredth millimeter increments and it's numbered every five hundredths. So you add the two values in exactly the same way as in the previous example with imperial units. Now if you're working to more precision, you might want to know exactly what that value between the 13 and 14 thousandths in the first example is. To help evaluate the distance, some micrometers are manufactured with an additional vernier scale that allows you to read to the 10 thousandths of an inch. The vernier scale is marked in increments calculated to line up with marks on the thimble scale and return a value that will give you a much closer estimation of the in-between value. The same vernier scale is used for slide rules. So using a vernier scale micrometer with the first example, you look along the thimble scale to find any mark that lines up exactly with the mark on the vernier scale. Here that's the 20 thousandths mark. The value on the vernier is 4. This means that the in-between value is 4 ten thousandths of an inch. So the initial measurement is actually 0.884 inches. Again, the same process can be carried over to the metric micrometer. I hope this video has provided a satisfactory explanation of how to read the scales of a micrometer. So long for now, and I hope to see you next time.